welcome back to another video so today I'm doing a what's on my iPhone 6 and you guys have all been requesting this like mad and I said I was going to do one in the new year so here it is there'll be some more videos coming soon obviously um, like a makeup collection, a what's on my iPad and how I edit my videos they will all be coming hopefully early this year if I can get them up and film them all so I hope you're going to enjoy this video and I'm just going to get straight into it so my phone is the iPhone 6 and this case is from Claire's if some of you want to know. It has 64 gig of storage and it's in silver, it's in silver and it looks like this and I absolutely love it and oh, I'm obsessed. I'm, I absolutely love this phone, it's got a massive screen on. So I do have this code to get into it but I just use my thumb and my lock screen is from Tumblr somewhere. And I've been trying to find it for ages and ages and I just can't find it. I don't know where I got it off Tumblr to be fair. Just gotta deal with it. And on here is all of my apps and my lock screen on here is also from Tumblr. And it's just on like, if you type in Christmas on Tumblr, then there'll be like a Christmas page with loads of like Christmas cozy things. I actually need to change this because it's not Christmas anymore, but you know, it just looks cozy and cool and neutral so I'm just gonna go through all the apps on the first page so the first app on here is Safari videos photos and camera and the camera on here is awesome it's such good quality amazing and then I have games lender calendar and it's the first of January today which I'm filming this on how cool is that first of January 2016 I still can't believe it Con contacts and FaceTime, I then have settings, clock, weather, mail and I have a lot of mail notifications and it's probably for all the apps because I literally set up all of like my different logins to the same email so I just keep getting up updates from everything which is a bit annoying. I then have iTunes, App Store, Notes, WhatsApp which is just a texting thing, obviously I'm not going to give out my number so yeah. Then I have Twitter and my Twitter is Isabel Meacham and I'm super active on there now. I'm uh, obsessed with Twitter at the moment and you guys on there are awesome and I also do little polls every now and again to like ask you about things like I asked you guys what video you wanted to see and what videos you'd like to see in the future so if you'd like to um, get involved with that then my Twitter is at Isabel Meacham I then have my Instagram and as you all know I love Instagram so much and I'm always on it like all the time and I'm actually quite liking my feed at the moment and that is just life of a geek teen or one word and then I have my snapchat which is also public hey and there's my little thing for you guys to scan if you want to scan it if not just put in easy meet and you should be able to find me here we go I'm gonna post that filming my tumblr and what is my name on there to be honest, I don't even know. I don't really go on this much, to be fair. Um, that's what it looks like. Just put grunge and alone and you should find it if you want to. I have Facebook Messenger, Facebook Pop Jam, which is private and I don't really go on much anymore. And Ask FM, but I don't really use that too much because, honestly, sometimes like the questions are just really stupid. And, and then I phone YouTube because I've always got to be able to get to access to YouTube. I then have music and I actually don't have any music on here I really need to go and get some music how long have I had this phone and I still don't have music I've just been using Spotify um, and then I have messages obviously then in here are all of my apps and stuff so I have all of these folders at the top here so the first one is just Apple stuff and basically all the things I don't use I just don't use any of it and obviously you can't delete it. I have my photography folder and honestly I don't use half of these but I'll tell you what they are anyway. Snapseed, that's what I used to use to get my photos really bright and really saturated on Instagram if you've been following me on there for a while. Hyperlapse, which is what I use to time lapse my videos and it does it without sound so if you guys wanna know how to time lapse a video, hyperlapse is really good. Or if I'm not using that, I usually just use my phone and if I wanna speed up anything, I use iMovie so I get like the squeaky voice as well. Vid Reverse, which is good for like reversing videos. Pic Collage, which I sometimes use to make little collages. Pixar, which I don't really use much anymore. VSEO Cam, love this. And this is what I use to edit all of my photos, as you can see. My name's on there, my name on there is Isabel Meacham. 
or Princess Pas Princess Pastel is my thing. I don't know if you can follow people, can you? I don't know. Um, ASOS, I don't know why ASOS is in the photography folder, I need to move that. And Layout, which is another Instagram app, and I think that's how you, like, you make these little things. Oh, yeah, that's how you do that. I forgot what that was. Instaboard, which is what you can use to download photos and videos off Instagram. Boomerang, I think this is some kind of like speed up, slow down app. It's made by Instagram. Oh, it just captures a ton of things. Okay. Oh. Game Your Video, which does like good video effects, but I haven't really used it much. I was just testing it out. And iMovie, which is what I use to edit. But I don't really edit on here. I edit on my phone. That's just like a backup, just in case. And then in here is Lifestyle. Um, I have Music LY, which I don't go on at all. The Hunt, which I went on a couple of times because I wanted to find these big chunky black boots, but you know, you got the people on there actually did help, and I actually did find some cool ones. I'm Celebrity App, but I'm a Celebrity's gone off now, so I suppose I need to delete that. ITV Hub, if I need to catch up on any programs I um, missed. Can you see? Is it in focus? AU Mobile, and that is a uh, Visco Cam app which you can use to print off your photos. Google Drive and Google Docs are used for school in case I need to like print anything or if the computer's not working kind of thing. And Puffin, um, this is Puffin web browser and basically if you go on there it comes up as a desktop which is good if um, I want to change a thumbnail or something on a video. Here is just website. I have HSBC Bank so I can check my balance like because my paper round money goes into there. My Vodafone which is what I use to check how much data I have. Um, Instatrack, which tells you who's followed you, who's unfollowed you, and things like that. I have Kick. Um, I'm not sure what my name is on Kick. I don't really go on it anymore. I used to go on it all the time. Who knows? Um, YouTube Studio, which shows you all the analytics of your videos, and I respond to comments a lot on there. I have Spotify. I have Shazam, and this is really good because if you want to find out what a song is in either one of my videos or someone else's videos, you just click on here, and it will listen for the song, and it will just pick it up which is really good. I have Duolingo, which like you can use to, I don't know, learn languages. Google Maps and Wattpad, which is like a fan fiction app because I find them quite funny to read. Then apps on here, I have Zigzag, Down the Mountain, The 7 Second Challenge, Sumsum, Cross Your Road, which is one of my favourites, um, Jetpack Joyride, which I also go on a lot, and Shape Rush, which is a new one I found and it's really, really cool. I like it. And like you hold down to be a circle, and like you don't do anything to be a square and you have to like basically do that and it just gets faster and faster which I think is really cool. I have Hair Salon like Hair Salon 2 which is already usually goes on if she's on my phone. Magisto which is another like cool video effect app. Piano Tiles and Piano Tiles 2. Piano Tiles is like where you got to try Ooh, lucky notes thank you. Where you've got to try and tap on the notes as fast as you can. I'm going to do it in one hand so this is really slow and you have to just tap the um, black tiles and then this one is piano tiles 2 but it's basically piano tiles 1 but with music. I then have 100 picks which is something I go on if I'm really really bored. It's one of those ones where like it only gives you letters and you have to try and guess what the thing is or the logo. Pet Buddies which is like an app. If you have Facebook then you can connect with other people who are on it. Zara made me get this as an actually quite a good game when I have time to sit down and go on it. It's updating so we are not going to go on that. Hocker Blocks which is a new game. I think this is like 2 99 and it's really cool. You like mix together other blocks and you're in charge of like three characters and basically you make your own little world and you click on the characters to move them which is quite cool and like you mix other blocks together to make new ones. So it's quite a cool little app. And then the last app I have on here is You Now. and if you guys would like me to do a You Now one of the days, come down below. Um, I usually just use this to look at other people's or watch other people's You Now's. Like I was watching Eve Bennett's You Now when she hit 100k the other day. So yeah, that's everything that's on my iPhone and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time with another video. Bye! Hey everyone, so before we go, I just want to say I hope you enjoyed this video and I just want to say thank you for all the support and we are super super close to 30k and I'm working on my 30k video, I hope you're going to like it and just...
go subscribe if you're not already and give it a thumbs up down below give this video a thumbs up down below also there won't be a weekend vlog today well on monday i won't be weekend vlogging because it's raining outside and we're not going to be doing anything all day and i don't want to be uploading and recording a boring vlog so that's why i'm not going to be vlogging and from next weekend everything will be going back to normal or the schedule will be going back to normal it's probably a bit all over the place at the moment it's because i'm trying to work on new things and just get back into the routine so yeah i'll see you guys soon hopefully with my 30k video when we hit 30k because i just wanna look good.